All right, it's quickly become the latest social media app that's being picked up by teenagers, but it's already raising eyebrows for a number of concerns about the content and privacy issues. And we're talking about TikTok. We're talking about the TikTok and its ownership. And here to break it all down for us is Stephen Smith with the Wired family. Uh, uh, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks, John. I appreciate uh, it. Yep. Coming in again and t talking to us to, uh, about things that, that, as a parent, is just at my top of mind. Uh, uh, I was not aware of TikTok, though, because this uh, apparently appeals more to someone that would be my grandson's age That's exactly uh, right. than my children's yeah, age. Right. Uh, tell us more about TikTok. So TikTok, it's kind of kind of had an interesting history. It started out as Musical.ly, which was an opportunity for, for kids, generally 13, 14-year-old girls, right, to, to lip sync to their favorite song. Then it was kind of benign in the beginning because they, be, they might be dancing to songs like from Taylor Swift and what have you. Yeah. But just like in regular culture, you know, the fastest growing growing genre of music is really kind of more like hip-hop. And so all of a sudden you'd start seeing these little girls dancing to hip-hop songs with some lyrics their parents probably had no idea they were dancing to. Yeah, uh, It didn't have any parental controls, and so things kind of got out of control. Another company came in uh, called Bike Dance, and they, they bought it. And now they have almost 600 million users uh, throughout the world, and it's growing incredibly fast. In fact, um, Bike Dance is considered the fastest growing um, startup in the world. Yeah, uh, what are the concerns? Let's say uh, there are concerns about the ownership. We'll get to that in a second. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about the concerns that people may have about the app itself. Uh, uh, you talked about dancing to songs and that sort of thing. Right. And maybe they were dancing to songs that were a little more advanced uh, than them. But you said, but I know that you've seen some examples. Of, I, I mean, it's really very disturbing. Yeah, um, I think if parents would take the time to look at some of these things. Look, first off, there's some good content. There's some funny content sure. on there. But what you will ultimately see if you spend you know even 15 minutes on it, you'll see little girls 13 14 15 years old dancing oftentimes in their underwear to really inappropriate content yeah um, and you know some of the lyrics which I which we can't show on right, TV right. are uh, are disturbing absolutely disturbing yeah now you have a secondary concern and it has to do with the ownership yeah uh, of TikTok, and you really say uh, not to pick on TikTok, but right. that, that everyone should be concerned about who owns what app. Yeah, particularly in this day of uh, where uh, social engineering is, you know, uh, w w like with Cambridge Analytica, right? So the same thing is potentially true. It's, it's done by a Chinese company with connections to the uh, Chinese government. The ability to use social engineering against 13, 14, 15 year old kids is very real. And most people don't really take that into consideration. Okay. Uh, what's your, what are your suggestions about uh, parental controls and that sort of thing? Well, I would say if you, if you have a child that's 13, 14 years old now, I, I would not allow them to have TikTok. Yeah. Um, there's uh, the, oftentimes, as I saw last week, um, kids 11, 12, 13 years old being contacted by grown men sending inappropriate pictures. And that. So if you're going to give it to them, manage it, manage it, manage it, manage it. And it does have parental controls built into it. You just got to take the time to look at it. Yeah, but don't set it and leave it. Exactly. Don't set it and leave it. It is, pass it is password protecting. That's another good thing. So they made some positive changes in it. All right. So that's TikTok for you, Stephen. Thanks so much for Thank coming you. in. Thank and you. Thank you. Giving us a heads up on that.